What's up all my friendly neighborhood YouTubers? This is Comic Order 410 and um, today I'm doing a video. Um, the shop that I frequent that does my poll list had their biannual sale uh, starting today. It's today through Friday and it's they have 50% off all back issues to 70% off some stuff. Statues were 25% off. Um, so I went and bought a bunch of crap. I went a little bit overboard, but they actually even hooked me up further on the discount. And I guess it was about three, four weeks ago when I went there. They had uh, they had two magazine boxes of Savage Sword of Conan's, and they were a dollar a piece. And I was looking through them, and some of them were banged up, but they, there was just a lot of stuff in there. And I was like, man, I need some of these. He's like, I'll tell you what. He's like, you can have both boxes for a hundred bucks, and it was like probably over two hundred issues in there. So I was like, okay, and. When I got home and went through them, there was doubles a lot. A lot of good books. Some of them were messed up, but it also had stuff in there like the 80s Marvel Wolf Pack graphic novel was in there. The Crawl movie adaption, the Willow movie adaption, a bunch of other Marvel magazines. I had the Savage Tales relaunch number one and two of that were in there, so that was a good deal. And then uh, I went back today and got all this stuff at at least 50% off. And I honestly don't know why they didn't hold these for me, because I don't I'll have to check and see when they came out, but I've been... I've been collecting Deadpool for a long, long time, so I'm surprised they didn't hold these for me. But I uh, got Deadpool Pulp 1 through 4 for 10 bucks, and they're J. Lee covers. They're actually pretty awesome, awesome covers there. That's covered a number four. He is a good artist. He just, the book they have him working on right now is a little suspect. So, for $4, I got the four issue mini. Um, Aquaman miniseries from 1986 when he had the crappy water camouflage costume, but I want to go back and read these, and for four bucks, whatever. Got um, Nick Fury and his Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. one through five for ten bucks, and one's pretty banged up, as you can see, but, you know, they told me that. Um, I already have an, a near mint shop, a uh, uh, near mint copy of Showcase number 94, sorry, and it's the intro, the new Doom Patrol. This one's pretty banged up, but I got uh, 94, 95, and 96 here for, what was it, 750. So I really just got them for the other two because I had the first part, but I needed these. So I got those. Uh, for $10, I got DC's Cobra 1 through 7. Nice. You know, they, they do that a lot, which is cool. I like that about this store. If they get a run of books, they'll bundle them together at an even cheaper deal than individual. So, and I'm getting some stuff like this I might not normally pick up. Um, it was funny, he saw me looking at this, this has 60 bucks on it, and it's Richard Dragon Kung Fu Fighter 1 through 17, and I picked it up, and I had so much stuff, I put it back down, he's like, oh, what, you, you're not gonna get Richard Dragon, I was like, eh, nah, it'd be 30 bucks, he's like, I'll throw it in for 10 bucks, I was like, done. So yeah, Richard Dragon Kung Fu Fighter 1 through 17 here, nice deal on that. They take good care of me there. So, those were the sets I got. And on to the individual issues here. Did a lot of work on my new Teen Titans run. Uh, I could be wrong, but I think I probably only need like three, two or three issues, and I'll have one through 50. And, uh, of course, one of those issues is number two, the most expensive issue. First appearance of Deathstroke, but that's the way it goes. But, you know, these were all half price as well. Number 17... Number 18, and these are all awesome George Perez covers. Most of them are in pretty good shape. Some of these issues were rough, but with the prices, I couldn't argue. Number 20. Number 21. Number 22. This, I love this Perez cover with the Omega Men. Oh my god, look at that cover. That is a beauty. He is the man. This is this is the stuff that just blew me away when I was a kid. His first, I said it before, the first um, book I remember seeing with his art, I didn't even know who he was, but I saw New Teen Titans number 13, and I was like, man, look at that cover. I was a little kid, dude. I was, I want to say I was probably like seven or eight years old, and uh, I saw that cover, and I had to buy it, and then I just started collecting New Teen Titans, and and covers like this are the reason why. George Perez is the freaking man. Teen Titans 25. Number 27. 
number 29. Number 32, another awesome cover. Thunder and Lightning. I like them. They didn't last long. It was a cool team from the Orient. They didn't last long. Another awesome Perez cover to number 33. I already had this, but for $2.50 I bought it again. Because it has Deathstroke. This is number 34. Number 35. Number 36, Thunder and Lightning again. Might be one of the only people who like them. Another absolutely incredible cover here to New Teen Titans 37. It's got all kinds of stuff going on here. It's got the uh, the Outsiders in there too. See Black Lightning and Halo, Metamorpho, at least. So maybe not all of them, but some of them, but... Man, George Perez is just so great at drawing those covers that have more characters than necessary. And this is number 38. I don't... That's not a Perez cover. He did the... Oh, yeah, it is a Perez cover. I guess it's painted. Awesome. It is George Perez. Number 40. Number 41. Again, I had this, but for two dollars, I got another copy. Forty-two. This is a. Uh, these are the Judas contracts. Forty-three. And I didn't. Get, they didn't have forty-four, which I think I am missing. So I have to check, but I might be missing that. Number forty-five. Another cool cover. Number forty-six. Number 47, another great George Perez cover. He was on this book for a long freaking time, and it was a great book. Number 48, number 49, number 50, being a perfect copy for two freaking dollars. Number 51. And now Rich Buckler's taking over. Perez still did the covers here, but Rich Buckler is doing the interior. And I believe um, Greco Fabulous just made good, good friends with Rich Buckler and his wife. And he was proclaiming in a video how absolutely blown away he was with the enthusiastic charisma of one Rich Buckler and his $3. Issue number 52, another awesome Perez cover with Cheshire, interior by Rich Buckler, who, by the way, I do like Rich Buckler's art. While we, while we bust his balls about, about being old <laughs> and not the most enthusiastic at day three of a, of a convention, you know, I do like his art. Anyhow, moving along, this is number 54, and... We finally have Perez not doing the covers here. This is uh, Eduardo Barreto. Another Deathstroke uh, Barreto cover to 55. 56. I don't even know who did this cover. It's Chuck Patton on interiors. Oh, wait. So, yeah, Chuck Patton did that. DiCarlo inked it. Number 57. And that is all the Teen Titans I bought. I got quite a bit of my Teen Titans run knocked out, as you can see. Um, got G.I. Joe 52, awesome Mike Zek cover with Quick Kick and Storm Shadow, $1.50. 53, I didn't have this one, got that for $1.50. 149, this is a pretty good issue and a, and a pretty awesome copy, and I got it for $7.50. Needed that one as well. Um... Some of these I already have. I have uh, Daredevil number one, but this copy looked better in mine, so I got it because it was seven fifty. And I know I have doubles of a couple other of these, but with the prices they were, you know, you can't really argue. Number two, number three, I had, but it was three dollars, so I grabbed another one. Woo! Number four needed this one. 
These are awesome Casada covers too. The Smith Casada run was pretty interesting. This is number five. Number six, I needed this one as well. Number seven, I had this. This is the Death of Mysteria, but I already had one, but for a near mint copy for three bucks, why not, right? Daredevil, number nine. David Mack cover. Needed this one as well. Saw this for $1.50. Charlton Comics Yang, number one. Don't even know what it is, but just grabbed it. Detective 500, a nice copy here. Got this for uh, 12.50. Black hole number one. I already have this, but for three dollars, why not? And I got another copy of number two. Also, well, I guess dollar fifty a piece they were. Yeah, you know, they were half of three dollars. Number four of that. I have one, two, and three. Number four is impossible to find because it was only in the Whitman uh, three packs. And so it's a lot harder to find and a lot more expensive than the other issues. So I don't have Black Hole Part 4. Um, I remember this movie from the 80s as a kid. It was a Disney, Walt Disney production, as you can see. Um, it was their attempt at an 80s superhero movie, Condor Man. And I got Part 1 and Part 2 for $1.50 each. Can't argue with that. Not the best copy, but... $12.50. I got a Werewolf by Night number one. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's got some discoloration right there. Some discoloration down there. Uh, try and zoom in. A little, more than a little flaw right there. And then it's got the date there. But for $12, I grabbed it because I don't have this book. And I should. Weird Wonder Tales number one. It's got some small problems there on the spine. Nothing too major, but, um, it was 10 bucks, so I grabbed it. Vault of Evil. Marvel's Vault of Evil number one. Got that for $15. Or, sorry, half of $15. $7.50. Got a bunch of Marvel premieres. They had a bunch of those. This is number 32. Because they were just so cheap. 36 with 3D Men. 38. I had this one when I was younger, the Weird World stuff. I did like it. Logan's Run. Um, and like a dumbass, they, ha I, they had the issue with Thanos on the wall. And it was 25 bucks, but I could have got it for twelve fifty. And I told him, told him I wanted it, but we both forgot about it because he's ringing all this stuff up and we were talking. I just forgot about it. So got almost all the Logan's Runs except that one. Got number one for 4 bucks. It's got some problems there by the staple, but... Nothing nothing else, really. A little bit of slight discoloration across the top edge, but for $4, man. Awesome. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. I think six was the Thanos one. That's the one I forgot to grab, but whatever. Number seven. It was either six or eight. I think it was six. But anyhow, um, I have number one of the Monster of Frankenstein, so I grabbed these. Again, they have the date uh, on the cover, unfortunately, but it's not that bad. Um, it's got a small fox here on the top corner, but uh, I needed this one, and I got it for nine bucks, and it's an awesome plume cover. I need, need to get number two now. Monster of Frankenstein number four. This is actually a pretty, pretty nice copy. And I got that also for $9. So I was quite happy behind that. Okay, and to close things out, <coughs> this is an early Punisher appearance in Amazing Spider-Man I needed. This is a 162. And I uh, got it for $17.50. It has, has some issues up here in the top corner in the price box. Uh, tie no, that's not spine rolling. I think it's a book behind it. But anyhow, yeah. Other than that, not too bad. Looking pretty good otherwise. So, 17 bucks. Can't really argue. I needed this issue, and I'm a huge Punisher fan, so it's glad to get that. Grab some Conans. N number 32. All half price still. Number 36. 
number 37, which I already have this, but it's a Neil Adams cover, and for $7.50, I just grabbed another copy because it's awesome. Number 38 for a dollar, but it looks like somebody drew on it in pen, but it was a dollar. <laughs> uh, Captain America 209. And I wanted to get this a Kirby cover, but this is an issue I remember specifically reading when I was very young. It was my brother's, and I read it, so I wanted to get that. Got it for four bones. Cap 225. What's that? Robbins and Austin cover. Terry Austin can make anyone's pencils look awesome. Uh, Captain America 266, a Mike Zek cover with Spider-Man. I remember I had this as a youngster too. It was a two-parter. Uh, Cap 268 also had this one. My exact cover with the Defenders. I remember having both of these. So I'm glad to get them really cheap. 281. So uh, got this for a buck fifty. And I had part two of this, but I got a better copy and I got it cheap. So got 286, which I needed. So got Deathlock in it. And then this one I had 287, but my copy was beat up. So I got a very fine near mint copy for two bucks. So it can't beat that. Pretty much knocked out almost all my Thundercats. I only had two or three issues. And I pretty much knocked them out. This copy is rough. I give this copy maybe a six, but it was $4.50. And I can always upgrade later. So I got Thundercats number one. Have two and three. So I got number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. Number ten. Number 11. I was really glad to get these. I've been wanting to knock this and the rest of my... I have more He-Man, uh, Star Comics He-Mans, than I do Thundercats. But I wanted been been wanting to knock both of these runs out because they were they were big a part of my childhood. I was a big Thundercats fan. And I had a, actually had a mail subscription to this book, to Transformers, to G.I. Joe, and, um, and Mask, and uh, He-Man. I actually got them sent to our mailbox every month but you know that was back in the day when i didn't care if they'd roll my comics up like a burrito so but good childhood memories and i was able to to dig these back out and um it's number 12 it's fighting the berserkers snarf versus mumra on issue 13 it's a joe senate cover number 15 yeah, I pretty much got this all knocked out. I just need to get a better number one. And uh, I think there might... I don't know if 19 is the last issue or not, but I didn't get 17 either. But 16. Number 18. Rat Taro. I didn't like him. And issue 19. Shed a tear for Rober Bell. No. I did not like the Rober Bill and Rober Bell. The mechanical teddy bears. They did not please me in the cartoon so but yeah that was my haul from my store sale and I uh, spent a lot of money but I got a lot of good stuff that I needed and I uh, got some good deals and they even knocked it, it it came to a little over 300 bucks and they even knocked some more money off so they treat me well and I uh, had a good day and I was happy and got a lot of got a lot of holes filled in my collection so Thank you, everyone. I always appreciate you coming by to check out my videos and check out my stuff. Thank you for taking the time to do so. Everyone, take care of yourselves and take care of your families. And happy comic book reading.